Hey guys, Chris here, and today I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cone roofs because they're actually rather simple um, and they're not as complicated as you think. And I can show you some different designs that I personally do um, to make these look way better. But the basic uh, roof is basically you want to go out a little bit um, so that the the roof doesn't seem so flush to the um, to the wall. So if you look all the way up here, it only goes out one. And it also doesn't really leave room um, for details and stuff like that. It just kind of feels a little flat and stuff like that. So that's why I always recommend doing three because you can kind of get those um, more interesting, you know, unique details um, going all the way around. Um, that helps, you know, make those uh, towers look a little bit better. So what I do is I go three and then I might go two or just one and then I go one then two then let's go three uh, let's go four and as you can see I'm just adding another number every so often so that it basically goes higher and higher and the curve gets steeper and steeper and there you go now you got a nice little curve then what you're going to do is you're going to select the very top and then you're going to select the very end of this then go right into the middle and then do slash slash revolve 1500 doesn't really matter what you actually do and then do top so that you can get out of it and just like that it kind of makes a roof now you kind of see where i'm going with this but as you can see um my first attempt was just not very good i don't get enough of that curve in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to undo and i'm going to recalibrate the curve so that there's a little bit more in there so what we're going to do is we're going to basically destroy it a little bit kind of come back to square one and then we're going to just go up up two and then two or oops up two and then three four and then four and then we'll just do a five at the very top and what you can do basically with this is it allows you to really just easily uh, manipulate how the tower looks so now it's a little bit better but again it's still not exactly where i want so instead i'm going to just shift this whole thing up by one by looking up in the air and moving um, it up by one with slash slash move and then i'm going to just extend it out a little bit just to give it a little bit of a nicer curve because i didn't definitely feel like it was just not doing um, well with that so with the revolve command i have a full tutorial on the command revolve um, but remember you just have to stay in the center of your revolve and it will revolve around that point for example if i stood over here and did revolve then it would do it around this point so as you can see i'm still in the center so if you want to be in the center of your tower um and it's just like that boom so now i'm getting much much happier with this look but it's still very blocky up the top so what i do is i basically just go in and edit it because no matter how much you want to uh you know fine tune your um command or your shape uh then you're just never going to get to where you want so you just have to do a little bit of um hand shaping which is really easy um, and rather simple you don't really have to do too much you kind of just do what kind of looks good you get a little better at this as you uh, do this more but there you go as you can see just adding a little bit of breakup to the uh, levels of the tower or the the gradient it looks a lot smoother instantaneously and then what you can do is you can select the very top and then the very out and then you're only doing 25 percent you're going to do such a copy rotate 90 and then paste and then you just do this a few more times and there you go you got a nice little tower now let's go on to doing some details to make this look pretty cool okay now for some details to make this you know kind of pop just to the next level so what you can do is you can just go all the way up just like this again we are only going to edit 25 percent of this because if you're editing more than that then really all you're doing is you're wasting your time just because well you just don't want to spend all of that extra time doing this um so just like that just like that want one up just like that boom and then maybe maybe a little like slab out here i'm going to be using birch for this detailing just for fun and then what we can do is we can uh, copy and rotate this i'm going to be using macros um so that i don't have to do that um with the slash, slash copy and slash, slash rotate because typing those out does take a little bit of time now what you can do is you can do the uh corner of this too that does work um it's a little bit more complicated because sometimes you have to mess with it just a little bit um and see how like it you'd have to go like that but you don't want to do that so what i do is i just go right up the middle just like that 
makes it super simple makes it super easy and then what we're going to do is we are going to add an a layer right a half slab layer to the outside of this just like that um, and it makes it look a little nicer just like that you can add a little bit more detail like you can add little backs uh stairs to these you know in places and that will uh give it just a little bit more detail i'm going to color this really quickly um just like this so replace 57 which is the diamond block and then i can do like 158 one and then what i can do is i can replace 41 with like a stripped uh, birch wood just like that um but yeah i was i was i was saying you can kind of add some of those like in more interesting details to it if you really want i don't tend to do this usually just kind of put it on the bottom a little bit um you can extend this out and then do that as well like that um but if that's if you want to make it a little bit more spiky i tend to avoid that just in general um, but yeah, so now we're going to look at the support system. So I'm going to sh definitely show you how uh, or what I meant by having a lot of that, uh, a lot of the room to kind of work with the details. So I'm going to do uh, Revolve 15 just to fill this little gap in because I did make it a little bit bigger because I did realize that this tower is significantly larger. But as you can see, it basically just goes very, very angular. It's not a very nice look. Um because you're just going straight in and then straight down. So what you want to do is you want to basically eliminate some of that um, shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of figure out a shape that we like. Okay, that looks good. And what we're doing right here is we're just adding supports to it. Uh, it's nothing too, uh, you know, hard to do. Um, just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to pull these out by one just because I want to. Um, so we're going to do that, 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 that. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wall behind it. I'm going to select that whole wall, go inside of it, and then I can do revolve 155 or 1500. And now I have another layer of stone. And you see this all the time in medieval castles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out a few windows and then add these little details to make these little windows just like that. Again, we're only working on 25% of the entire build because we can just uh, rotate and flip. You don't wanna have to do a ton extra work that you don't, are, you know, like you're not forced to do. Um, I'm gonna do a little detailing up here. Actually, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more just like that. And then I'm gonna do a layer of detailing just like that. And most of towers are just layers, right? You know, you go one layer, like it's the same thing, and then you go the next layer, and then in the next layer. You don't want to have to take it all at once because that tends to be super demotivating a lot of the time. So you kind of just take it one layer at a time. And more often than not, you just take one layer and wrap it all around the whole thing, and it just it looks perfectly fine. Okay, so what we are going to do... Um, we're going to move these down one. So we're going to select the whole thing and move them down just like that. Um, and then we're going to move this whole thing down. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this is, as you see, there's a block below it, but there's no block above it. So what I want to do is I want to basically enable that to have a block above it and a block below it just to make sure it's even. It's not, you know, confusing my OCD or anything just like that. We got it. Okay, but then you can also, it also allows you to do a little bit more detailing than you otherwise might be able to do, just like that. And then you also found a, you know, find a nice solid foundation for these um, end or these golden blocks, which I can now actually replace because I now know what they're going to be. Um, if you ever wanted to know, you can use slash slash uh, replace hand and hold the block in your hand of the block that you want to replace. So it's just a super simple way to do that. And then you can also do place 57, 99, 14. Now I'll just do actually just 99 and give that nice um, uh, opened mushroom block. I don't know how, you, like, I don't even know what this is called, but like whatever it is, it looks really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna just do a simple 57, 52, which is just more birch. And then as you can see, it really does add a lot to the tower instead of just having the tower be so flat and boring, which is oftentimes what that end is up looking like. Um, you can even just copy these exact um, details for own towers, um, but it does 
adds a little bit extra to the tower it has that nice curve now down to the more traditional tower where you can put your, you know your your windows and stuff like that um, that you would normally have in your um, towers and such just like that it's it's really not hard you can really you know mess around with the details um, just to add every little thing that you want it's just a really easy and fun playground to I don't know mess about with um, and I've just I've just had a blast with it um, just over the years so yeah hopefully that helps explain how to make towers and I'll see you guys later peace